hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to write a test class for the trigger that we have written in the previous video so we need to write a test class by using apex programming language other technologies like java dot net they used to write unit testing by using test or junit but uh, salesforce provides a proprietary language apex with the help of that we have to test the code what we have written but uh, as we know that to deploy the triggers uh, at most we need one percent of the code coverage but other apex classes we need to provide minimum 75 percent of code coverage but it is a good practice to provide the 100 percent code coverage for both apex classes and triggers so this is the apex trigger that we have written in the previous session i am going to write a test class for that and then we'll deploy that to our uh, uh, developer org and then we'll see how much test coverage we have written for that so to write a test class you have to go to the classes folder and then right click on that and then create a apex class now give a proper uh, naming convention to easily identify that test class underscore march 28 so choose the directory as a classes so that it will it is going to create a test class after that uh, we need to write a, our test method by using proper annotation and then um, we have to write a method to do the test coverage if it is a test class we have to always keep each test annotation to easily identify that to distinguish the class from other test classes if it is a method then you can use two ways either each test or else you can write a test method keyboard i am going to use each test Oh, sorry this is actually a um, constructor we no need to do anything to that and it is our write a separate test method public static void method underscore march 20. i am giving this naming uh, just to understand usually we have to give a provide a proper naming convention and we forgot to give the annotation is test or else uh, so that we, uh, our VS code easily identify that it is a test method uh, actually um, you can use uh, another keyword like test method but uh, I'm going with the is test for this time you can use anything not a problem so before that you have to make sure that we have a proper connection established with our uh, aux so if you see our terminal i we can see that uh, gp1267 is already connected with our vs code and our salesforce org with the help of salesforce cli interface and and we had, that means that we are good to go ahead and write the trigger test class so we have written a trigger the trigger will be called whenever you write a create a contact and it will stamp the last name as Pedapodi. so that means that uh, you have to insert a contact in our test class to insert a contact you have to initialize a contact uh, interface that is an initialization as a contact sample and then um, you have to give the data on mandatory what are the mandatory? first name first and then you have to do the insert operation for sample reference so that means um, we are just inserting a contact with the first name as first and last name as last but after successful insertion our trigger will be automatically called and it will stamp the last name as Pedapodi. so that means uh, we have to do the uh, we have to query the, our uh, contact uh, record and then we have to do the system assertion that is like list of contact con list equal to select id last name from contact so this uh, all runs in a, you know like uh, we are inserting a contact it, it, it won't insert uh, into the real database 
of Salesforce because it is a test class so it won't impact our uh, real data so for that uh, we have to include we see all data equal to uh, true so the syntax for see all data is see test class let's see how we have to give the see all data equal to do it is like see, this is the annotation we have to uh, give that means uh, CL data is not a true CL data we have to give like a false that means our test class when you do the SQL query it won't bring up the actual contacts it will just bring up the contacts that are in a test context so that means that uh, for now this is only one contact we have inserted so that is the contact it will be a queried back and stored into the list called con list so this con list will have only the size one so that is nothing but the contact we just have inserted so we know it so it won't impact our real data so now our, our system assertion is system so, so visual studio gives uh, all the things uh, expected as actual so i am what i'm expecting is pedapudi is a last name and the actual value will be like uh, con list dot last name so that means so this is the expected value this is the actual value the con list zero index means uh, this is a list of records that are being queried but right now it will have only one record so i know that it will be stored in the index zero and i'm querying the last name <coughs> so uh, my i know that this last name will be pedapudi why because after the insertion our trigger will be called and it will stamp the data as uh, pedapudi so it should be passed if it is not passed we will get an error message so we are good and we uh, uh, run the test class so to run the test class there is a uh, hyperlink here in visual studio video just click on the run all test so visual studio will run the test class by using salesforce cli integration once everything is done we'll get an uh, so it is failed so we can easily tell like how why it is failed yeah it is shows that unable to invoke the test ensure the tests are loaded into org so we forgot to push our uh, class into our uh, salesforce org that's why we are getting this error message so we'll push the code into the org and then we'll run the test class again let's wait until the command runs before we run the test class again so this output panel gives us proper information even if it fails or successful so that we can take an action based on the error message so it is successfully deployed now let's go ahead and run the tests so in this test class we are not explicitly calling any trigger because it's not a class if it is class we have to initialize an object and then we call the methods like in, in inside of start or end method but since it is a trigger we no need to call it it will be automatically called so we got uh, let's increase the panel size it's like a pass 100 percent pass rate so it is successfully deployed so we are good with it but we're not sure whether it is successfully covered all the lines of code to do that we have Let's go ahead and open our org by using uh, open org default org and then open our uh, developer console in that and open our trigger as well as our test class and then see that code coverage. So our developer org is getting open once it will gets open I will open the developer console.
control shift o and then click this one and and also it is better to open our trigger also our uh, trigger name is like uh, first trigger on contact object control shift o and then open the trigger now uh, just go here and click the run test it will test this one in a synchronous way you can do in asynchronous also but this for this piece of code synchronous way is enough so it, it shows the positive result and come here and click the code coverage so that's it so our code coverage is done and also you can test in a different way also that is um, coming here let's view this in a classic in a better way and there is an option called apex um, test execution in this um, so apex test here uh, you just click the T and choose like uh, this is the class we have and then click on uh, run test so if it is successfully run it will show the green button if it fails it will show the error message also currently it is running yeah so it's like a past and uh, that's it guys uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, hope you found it informative please go and uh, subscribe my channel i will catch you guys with the next video until then peace thank you